Hi, I'm Lauren Holiday. I'm a two-time Olympic gold medalist and a world champion. I played on the women's national soccer team for 10 years, and now I have transitioned into motherhood. Um, I am so familiar with challenges and obstacles. When I was three years old, I actually had open heart surgery to correct an atrial septal defect, which is a hole in your heart and a pulmonary vein um, I had to have rerouted. So from the time I was very little, I was always kind of beating the odds. Um, I grew up and I became an Olympian and I fulfilled a lot of my dreams. When I decided that I was going to retire, um, it was one of the hardest decisions that I had ever made, but it was one of the best decisions because I was pregnant with my first child. And during that time, I had another obstacle to overcome. I was diagnosed with a brain tumor six months into my pregnancy. They told me that it was benign, so that was great news, um, but I would have to have surgery four weeks after I delivered my baby girl. That was a lot to handle. That was really hard for me. My, I feel like my pregnancy was a little bit taken away from me um, to enjoy it, and all I got to think about was protecting her. Now she's seven months old, and I am six months post-op, doing great. Hence the eye patch. How did you come up with Bone Race? Tell me that story because I know you said you were. Well, I was on the, I was on the plane, and well, actually, it was like on the way there, we started thinking about, okay, what would we do? We have to we have to move our entire life to North Carolina. We have to uproot everything that we have. I'm you know at this point seven months pregnant, and we have to move our entire life. And I kept thinking that we were so blessed, and we were so lucky to be able to have the means to do so and that we were able to find a house to rent and we didn't have to stay in a hotel and I remember thinking gosh I wish that I could help people I wish that everybody could have this as easy as it as we have and um, during that thought process I just started thinking man I really just want to help people I want to help them in whatever capacity that I can whether that be renting a house for them or giving it to a, a charity or a cause, giving money. I just wanted to be able to make people's lives easier, to show them grace. And so that's how we came up with Full of Grace Foundation. How long ago was that when you first started thinking about the foundation? I would say August 2016, we started thinking of it. Um, I went through delivering the baby. Um, I went through brain surgery and then we we started working on the foundation after I was out of surgery in the clear. Yeah. Hi, I'm Rochelle Barron and I'm co-owner of Bow and Bell Littles. Um, my husband and I have always wanted to give back in a positive way through our company. And um, Paul had been listening to some podcasts and watching some videos and he saw a video of uh, Damon John talking about how he used um, his product to get to celebrities um, to raise money for charity. And so, being a soccer like being a soccer player when I was younger, we thought it was a natural connection for us to partner with um, Lauren and Drew. So, long story short, Paul reached out to Lauren's agent, and through a long stream of communication. Um, we found out about the Full of Grace Foundation and what they were doing and um, asked them if they wanted to partner with us of, of at least starting with a limited release print of our swim diaper to help raise money for charity. Um, we're planning on using our net profit from the swim diaper to, to give to Full of Grace and to use it for whatever. Yeah, it was actually really ironic Drew and I were on vacation during All-Star break. It was the first time we had taken our daughter to the beach and we had swim diapers that just were not working for us. And we get an email from our agent and it says, hey, this company, they make swim diapers, they wanna partner with you. And I was like, yes, yes, please. Because we had already cleaned up so many accidents um, in 
swim diapers that we were ready for anything new and to try anything new and then our morals our values everything our faith and our belief in God just totally um, aligned for us and I feel like it has been such an easy process right when they said they wanted me to help design I thought of my niece um, she has cystic fibrosis and I thought, oh, how cool. Her name is Cherry Bomb. How cool for 4th of July, for anything, to design a diaper that could be named after her, Cherry Bomb. And so I think they loved it, and we were partners, and it's been awesome. So if you'd like to help us raise money for the Full of Grace Foundation, you can help us by buying a, a Cherry Bomb swim diaper. This one is our Green Stripes print diaper. That's available on our website also, but all the diapers adjust from three months to three years. There will be a button on our website for you to donate money if you don't need a swim diaper, and our website is www.bowenbelllittles.com slash cherrybomb for the swim diaper. Follow us on Instagram, at laurenholiday12, at bblittles, for more updates and different collaborations we'll be doing this summer. Share this video and like and comment so that your friends can see about our fundraiser for Full of Grace and Cystic Fibrosis. Thank you.